Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial. This is a follow-up episode to the series we are doing on project management within Podio. This is the third of uh, not sure how many that we're going to do, but uh, the topic is pretty broad, so uh, we have multiple episodes in the series here. If you haven't seen um, the first couple, I would recommend seeing those, but it's not really too big of a deal if you don't. They're all short enough. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, something that I brought up in the other episodes. It's an extension to Podio. It's actually a Google Chrome extension that allows you to do something really cool, uh, which is to update your Podio items in a spreadsheet-like view, okay? Um, it's new, a uh, newer feature, and it can really speed things up for different kinds of apps. And we're gonna talk about the apps that it makes most sense for. Uh, what I'm talking about is what's on my screen right now. It's called Podio Super Menu. So um, this is actually by the guys who uh, made Globe Flow. Uh, many of you might know what that is. Globe Flow is a extremely advanced workflow extension to Podio. Um, when you get into really automated systems within Podio, you're probably gonna be using Globe Flow. Uh, it is a paid feature, and um, but uh, very, very worthwhile if your business is at the point where it makes sense to have it. So um, let's look at what it's actually called Podio Super Menu. So it's an extension off of Podio, and the main thing, the first thing that it started with um, was um, the Super Menu. So when you click the Podio button, it's supposed to help out with navigation. It brings up a bunch of your apps, depending on how you configure things. You can color it and make it look different. Basically, it's kind of a, a way for you to add shortcuts to the apps you like. So one way to get to your apps is to go over to the left, click the drop down, and then you have all your different organizations that you can look through, and click a workspace, and then you click the apps, and that's how you get there, uh, which works fine, but what Super Menu allows you to do is you can configure the apps that you want to show up on your Super Menu, which happens to be your shortcuts. So if I click the Podio icon here, it brings up the ones that I want. So I pulled in a few from the real estate investing template that I want. So I can click on, uh, let's say, uh, projects, and it'll get me there. I could also color code it, so I added that green. Okay. Uh, so that was the first main feature of this Podio Super Menu extension was the addition of this, again, quote unquote, Super Menu, and it's really just shortcuts. Um, so let me just show you how that works as far as configuring it. If I were to go click the Configure button, it'll bring me over to a new page where I click Sign In. It pretty much just checks for your uh, Podio credentials, and then it's gonna go through all of your um, workspaces and apps just to make sure it has an updated view of what it is you, how, how your setup is. Uh, and then it's gonna show you what your current Podio Super Menu looks like. That's what mine is like. And then on the left, you have all of your apps and you can decide how, what you wanna do with them. So you can toggle on and off to add things to your Super Menu. But uh, this is also where we would, you would go through and um, do what I'm about to do, which is add the sheet part of it. So if you were to take any one of your apps here, you can click the little um, settings icon. So next to tenants, there's this one. And you have some other options you can do. You can add a shortcut key, which is kind of cool. Um, you can do some other things. Um, bold, black, app tile, um, some kind of... Yeah, they refresh every few seconds. That's kind of a neat one. If you have something that's refreshing often or maybe something that's time-based, calculations that are time-based. Um, but here is the the one that I want to talk about, which is the add the edit, add edit view as spreadsheet button. So I'm going to click that one for tenants. Um, then you go back over and you click update and everything will update. So now when I go to my tenants app, I use the super menu to get there. You'll see that this new sheet button appears, which allows me to, if I click it, it will open my app items into a sheet. There you go. There you see all my current tenants. And I can take this, I can click and um, change these. I can make a tenant inactive. I can add a move out date. I can change their lease information, okay? Um, it's not super useful. I don't find it super useful for things like this. Uh, maybe if you had 
a real lot of tenants and depending on the different columns that you use it, it, it could certainly be useful what I want to demonstrate for you today is how I use it for projects and specifically for um, when I'm going through a budgeting exercise so if I go to my deliverables which as we talked about in the second in the first video these all align to a project you can see that I have all of my deliverables for this project 122 Buffalo Street. Here's all the things I'm going to do for that project. I'm going to patch the subfloor, I'm going to install new floor tile, paint, I'm going to do all this stuff. I set up a view 122 Buffalo sheet that gives me the columns that I want and I'm going to go and edit this in a sheet view and it's really really easy. So if I click the sheet button it'll pop up in the spreadsheet like view and from here I can go in and adjust a lot of these numbers without having to click on each and every item to update them so I can see the whole scope here this is a small project but I can see the whole scope and I can edit these material numbers these labor numbers I can I can make this labor quantity 8 right from here then I can I can uh, key down to this one and make this one 8 I can go over to the material and say I need two of these now. I need four of these now. And it's all going to update right in Podio. Okay. Um, and so it's kind of magical because if you think about how long it would take you to click on replace tub drain, edit something, click out of it, do the same thing for the next item. And I'll do that to demonstrate. Um, this is just a really easier way to adjust numbers, to change statuses. It brings in your drop down boxes for categories. As you can see, I'm doing for labor is internal. Um, you can add something that isn't there yet. And everything will update, okay? Uh, you don't need to click anything, it'll update directly into Podio. Um, but let's just demonstrate how long it would take to, to change these things. I'll refresh and you'll see all the updated numbers come in there. So you see that everything changed. Uh, so if I were to say take, let's take two of these and adjust some of these numbers. So let me click final electric, loads up a bit. I scroll down and I decide that I want to change this to labor internal no. And I want to adjust the labor quantity to four. And that's all I want to do. Okay, that one's done. Let's do one more. Double hung window. Let's make this labor cost 80. All right, so that probably took 20 seconds or so, uh, maybe a little bit more, but you saw how easy it was uh, in the super menu to just toggle through and go down. So when you're, uh, when you're editing a lot of items, um, specifically I find it useful for numbers and for categories, when you're editing a lot of numbers, you can save a ton of time using this sheet um, feature. It is completely free from the guys who made Globally Flow. Um, it is a Chrome extension, so you have to be using Podio on Google Chrome. Um, and give it a shot. Uh, it's completely free. See if you like it. Maybe you don't, but it's at least another option for you. Um, if you're using Podio and you may be frustrated because updating data takes too long. So um, there's a quick tip for you. I hope you enjoyed that. There's plenty more to come. I would love for you guys to let me know what you're interested in seeing. Uh, I'll probably have a few more on project management. Then there's some things on calculations I want to get into and just keep moving along with Podio. Um, but if you have any specifics, I would love to hear from you. Um, as always, you can um, check out all the resources that we have available on IncomeDigs.com and uh, look out for more videos. And thank you for watching.